seen those before in my yeah. uncle's room. Yeah, it looked red like this, had red liquid yeah, in the exactly bottom. Yeah, exactly the same. With the yellow hat on. Yeah. Well, these dipping birds are kind of popular because they, they move back and forth all the time in a sort of mysterious way, so they're often used in novelty shops. <laughs> you know what makes them dip? No, not really. Well, see if I can explain it. First of all, see that red liquid at the inside? Yes. That's a liquid that boils at a very low temperature, which means it's vapor. Is, expands very easily at relatively low temperature. In fact, somewhat like the liquid in that, are, that are in these two spheres connected by the tube. Put your hand around that one. It's sort of boiling. Yeah, well, it looks like it. Actually, it's the vapor expanding up here. And sometimes these are sold as love meters or something like that. <laughs> because theoretically, we could put our hands around there and see who's uh, the heat of the hand makes it boil the most. So here's another version. But a simpler one. Here, hold on to that. Looks like a Christmas tree ornament. All right. That's how Christmas tree ornaments work. See, the vapor down below is, is bubbling up through here and making it look like it's boiling. I you see. Know, the same thing is happening with the bird. Let me take this one. But I've taken the tail off it so you can see. Okay, Just now, dipped. Now the liquid is down here in the bottom, see? Yes. But watch. See how the red one is climbing? In fact, put your yeah. fingers around the bulb and you can make it go up a little faster. Watch. See it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, what happens when the liquid gets up in the head? It dips. It dips down. And the important thing is that that frees the tube. See how the end of the tube is now free here? Yes. And it's important that you have a stop so that it doesn't tip all the way. So what you, in effect, are doing is allowing the liquid to run back down into the bottom. And when it gets down into the bottom, what's going to happen then to the weight? It's going, it's going, it's going to be going heavier to be heavy in the down. bottom, so it'll finally come back up like this. Yeah, and now, then the whole piece process is repeated. It, well, well, the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that it dips into the water. Put your finger up here with the head. Feel that? It's sort of a felt-like stuff on there? Yeah. Well, when it dips into the water, the water flows up and wets this thing, and as the water evaporates into the room, why well, it cools the head off, oh. and that's what makes the water, the uh, liquid go up. It's interesting. Yeah. So it dips down, gets the head wet, then it begins, and then it comes back up this way. Gradually, as this evaporates, it cools off, heats this up, and again, the whole process starts all over again. So the energy to make it work is really the heat in the room. Yeah. And most people don't realize it. But now you know what makes the dipping bird dip. <laughs>